Now, tonight, slightly different, okay? Uh, because our partner is completely lathered up here, and I've got to got to dive into that. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you can take him. He's not. No, I hate that. I'm just going to start bringing the towel, man. Sam, yeah. right. Yeah. Take the towel. I'll be the. <laughs> I'll give you a big hug. Just get you, get it over with. And then... 20, 20 plus years and it still hurts the hell out of me when somebody does this to me. All right. You know you're going to be a demo. Close guard. Come up here now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, could be worse. Different in Nogi in that we do not have our lapel function, right? We don't have that. We certainly don't have, we certainly don't have our head function where we can actually grab that deep collar and really, really pull. We lose all handles. The game becomes a little bit different here. It's literally way more slippery, so we have to come up with something else, okay? The kill position, however, is functional. Um, so we start to fight our way in here now, like I was telling you guys earlier. A good guard player, Jesus H. Christ, who's dry? Get out of here. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so much better. So much better. <laughs> all right, For the record, all of that's on video. All, right. so, all of that. Kill is still the same. Now we were talking about earlier. We were talking earlier about um, how you pull guard, aggressively pulling guard. Okay, having a set. This is kind of before we get there, or even if we end up with like a daily diva situation, whatever. We still want to kill the most, the nearest available way. Once we get to this kill, we're still driving our weight, and notice that I'm kind of pushing everything in. Now we're gonna to go to a slightly different lock where we can start to kind of gather the, the thighs or gather the hips, okay? So you're gonna to start to see me work this over, over hook on the back of the hip. Now what this does is this allows me to keep my weight kind of centered forward and I can start to really, really press into this guy and I can start to kind of shift my hips and work off of this mess here and start to work around. There's two grips that we're gonna really work hard on, okay? Um, we're, we're still trying to fold, fold our partner. Still trying to fold our partner. So getting in here and, and catching, I'm trying to catch the legs and I can make use of the back of the head to keep myself super tight. If he rids the head grip, I can transition back up here to the knee. Capturing the tops of the knee. Now this does not prevent him from, uh, from extending his leg at the, at the knee, okay? But it does help keep me kind of locked. So one of the things that we're looking at doing here is if he starts to straighten his leg up, I'm gonna kind of let that flare, all right? Don't try to keep your leg down here so when he straightens everything up, he gets a lot to grab. So when I'm in top and I've caught and he starts to straighten his leg, I'm just gonna kind of go over here. Now what we're looking for here is the duck under double, okay? Or I'm sorry, duck, duck, duck under double, over under. We get into a situation like this, we've got to this kill, we've caught both of these knees, now the over-under comes into play, okay? We've got to our over-under position, head across, get all our weight up. Now we're coming to the side, and we pass. So on our kill, no gain. Got in here and killed. You're gonna gather the legs, all right? I'm looking for that dive underneath and to drop down, all right? Over-under pass. Head's going to come back down, all the weight gets driven, right? Now I'm starting to work this direction so I can cave the leg in, so I can cut across, dive through. So we're going to drive in with the knee, and remember, knee to elbow, okay? So when I drive in, I'm not driving in like this. So he's got double ankles, not driving in here. Knee locks to elbow, and we're driving in this way to compress the guard, okay? So I'm gonna start at the foot, work my way to the knees. So when I'm disconnected, I've gotten a partner on their back, maybe here. Next thing I'm looking to do is drive them down, elbow to knee, and I'm driving the knee in. Stepping around to my kill, gathering the thighs. Weight is over the top. Now I'm working for my duck under. Knees go down, back, head is up. Coming around the back. Push. 
over. We gathered the hip. All right. Now, something else that we can do here. If we're not able to punch under here, which most of the time that'll open up. If you're not able to punch under right here, okay? One of the things I like to do is I like to bring my elbow back inside and I'm gonna block the hip down the middle. Okay, so notice my knee goes to the hip and my, or my knee goes to my elbow and my hand is down to the hip. From here, now this hand is coming this way and I'm driving this knee across and I'm gonna gather. Okay, gathering the head to go right into my knee cut series. So if I'm here, come down, I'm blocking the high side hip and I'm coming down the middle, gathering the head. If his elbow comes away from his side in the slightest bit, now I'm coming up and punching the underhook and finishing. Okay, so down the middle, here, get to my gather point so I can stay heavy on this guy. Hand comes down the middle. I'm gonna fold and I'm gonna walk to my knee cut to the side. Notice my elbow is now inside, okay? Hand is at the hip. I can come forward, head down. Remember I told you yesterday, if your head is up, we're not doing right. Head is down, okay? I'm waiting to get this underhook punched up. If he moves his hand up and tries to push me up, a lot of times they will. So we can cut through. Okay. You need it, yes. Okay. Yep. So you can't it's going to be real hard to keep him from moving away from you because their head goes away. Okay. So once I get into here, okay, if I do not have this underhook, he can run from me just like that. Okay. Running from me is very, very real. This is blocking the knee coming in. If I decide that I want to go and stop him, I can grab him back here and grab his back. Holding him back. Starting to fight for the head. Now I'm looking for the underhook. Now I got it. Okay. So again, drive your knee. Gather. Hand's gonna shoot down the middle. We're gonna fold to the knee cut position. Right here, I'm blocking the hip, keeping the weight heavy. Cut as far as I possibly can. If he gives you that opportunity, punch that underhook, take it, cross face, weight forward, and pass. Let's go, one, two, three, control, okay? So we get in here and I'm driven inside and I've locked everything up and I've caught him kind of inside and I've got his guard compressed, which is my first goal, okay? He's going to start to kind of favor one side or the other. I can already tell the way I got his foot trapped, his knees are wanting to tilt this way. And if he starts to let you go past that straight up and down vertical position, go ahead and push it across and let's get the arm on the inside and let's start pinning him down the other way, okay? So when we get the pin, we get our kill, the knee fold is going to be on the direction where my knee comes out on top. This one, it's on bottom. If I go this way, right? We're on bottom. If I fold this way, I come out on top of his leg. And I got one leg still kind of tied up here in the backside. All right? So what we're going to do now is we're driving, get in, pin, capture. Okay? Now, where I generally go from here is, again, I come on this inside and I'm kind of blocking this hip because my first thought is I want to go this direction. But if he starts leaning and favoring this way, I'm gonna fold this way and I'm gonna walk down this line and I'm capturing the back, all right? I'm right here over his back. So I'm folded up, got his knees pinned, I'm in the weave, okay? From here, I'm gonna capture the head, walking forward. Coming around the back side. He stays on his side. Let's capture that bottom side arm so we can pass. Are we supposed to stop in, in side control? No. Let's work and finish. We're stepping in, kill, compress, pan, fold. If he's already folding that way, the way we do this is we just shoot, put the hand on the mat, shoot down the line. 
Go straight down the line and get his knees pinned. Heavy. Okay, walk him up. Foot's gonna come to the backside. Capture. Let's defeat. Finish in the mouth. Don't let him turtle. Here. Notice I'm on the back. Go ahead and finish in the mouth. Here we go. One, two, three.